Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to Sunny's List of Things. Today we have a cracking video showing you 10 unusual hybrid animals that really exist. You may have probably heard about the most common animal hybrid between a female horse and a male donkey called a mule, but did you know that there are more of these mixed animals? Though this kind of species and breed crossing does not usually appear in nature, with human intervention we now have zonkeys, growler bears, wolfins and much much more. These animals are usually infertile with the odd exception to the rule such as the koi wolf, not to be confused with the koi wolf, Though the internet is chock a block with badly photoshopped images of strange creatures, the following list is full of absolutely real and amazing animals. With advances in genetic engineering and cloning, what does the future hold? Let alone the ethical question of whether it should be even allowed, only time will tell. And just a gentle reminder that if you do like the coming video, please remember to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel so that you can watch more great content just like this. So sit back and relax as we go through 10 unusual hybrid animals that really exist. At number 10 we have the Zonkey. The Zonkey is a variation of a Zebroid, which is basically the offspring of any cross between a Zebra and any other equine to create a hybrid. In most cases, the Sire is a Zebra Stallion. They have been bred since around the 19th century. Charles Darwin, in fact, noted several Zebra hybrids in his works. Donkeys are closely related to zebras and both animals belong to the horse family. These zebra-donkey hybrids are rare. In South Africa they occur where zebras and donkeys are found in proximity to each other. Like mules and hinnies, they are generally genetically unable to breed due to an odd number of chromosomes disrupting meiosis. Zonkeys tend to be either tan, brown or grey in colour from their donkey parent with a lighter underside and it is on the lighter parts of their body like their legs and belly with stripes on some parts from the zebra parent. At number 9 are Grola Bears. Also called Peasley Bears, most Grola Bears live in zoos, although there have been a few confirmed sightings in the wild. The Grizzly Polar Bear Hybrid is a rare Ursid hybrid. In 2006, the occurrence of this hybrid in nature was confirmed by testing the DNA of a unique looking bear that had been shot near Saks Harbour on Banks Island in the Canadian Arctic. The number of confirmed hybrids has since risen to eight, all of them descending from the same female polar bear. Possible wild-bred polar bear grizzly bear hybrids have been reported and shot in the past, but DNA tests were not available to verify the bear's ancestry. Since the 2006 discovery placed the hybrid into the spotlight, the media have referred to this animal with several names, such as Pizzly Bear, Grola Bear and Polizzi, but there is no consensus on the use of any one of these terms. Canadian wildlife officials have suggested calling the hybrid Manulak taken from the Inuit names for polar bear and grizzly bear. Next we have the Zorse. The Zorse is the offspring of a zebra stallion and a horse mare. This type of cross is also known as a zebruce. 
Zebrula or simply a Zebra Mule. The even rarer reverse pairing is sometimes known as a Zebrini or a Zebrahini, just to name a few. The zebra has between 32 and 46 chromosomes depending on the species. In spite of this difference, viable hybrids are possible, provided that the gene combination in the hybrid allows for embryonic development to birth. This chromosome difference makes female hybrids poorly fertile and male hybrids are generally sterile due to something called Haldane's rule. A zoos will physically resemble the non-zebra parent but will be striped like a zebra. The stripes don't usually cover the body and might just be confined to the legs but can spread to other parts of the body or neck. Number 7. The Jaglion This hybrid comes from the pairing of a male jaguar and a female lion or lioness. On April 9, 2006, the birth of two Jaglian cubs shocked everyone. The two cubs, Jahazara, the female cub, and Tsunami, the male, were conceived and born at Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary in Canada. A mounted specimen is on display at the Walter Rothschild Zoological Museum in Hertfordshire, England. It has the lion's background colour, brown, jaguar-like rosettes and the powerful build of a jaguar. Next we have the wolfin. The fantastic looking wolfin is a cross between a whale and a dolphin and it is an extremely rare cetacean hybrid born from mating a female common bottlenose dolphin and a male false killer whale. The name Wolfin suggests a hybrid of whale and dolphin, although taxonomically they are both within the oceanic dolphin family. Wolfins have been born in captivity, but they have also been reported to have produced in the wild. Next up comes the koi dog. A koi dog is a canine hybrid resulting from a mating between a male coyote and a female dog. Hybrids of both sexes are fertile and can be successfully bred through four generations. Similarly, a dog oat is a hybrid of a dog father and a coyote mother. Such matings occurred long before the European colonization of the Americas as melanistic coyotes have been shown to have inherited their black pelts from dogs likely brought to North America through the Bering Land Bridge 12,000 to 14,000 years ago by the ancestors of the indigenous peoples of the Americas. At 4. Geep With the sheep-goat hybrid, we have the geep. While sheep and goats are similar and can be mated, they do belong to a different genera. Sheep belong to the genus Ovis and have 54 chromosomes while goats belong to the genus Capra and have 60 chromosomes. The offspring of a sheep-goat pairing is usually stillborn. Despite widespread shared pasturing of goats and sheep, hybrids are very rare indicating the genetic distance between the two species. They shouldn't be confused with the sheep goat Chimera which are artificially created by combining the embryos of a goat and a sheep. There is a reported case of a live birth of a sheep goat hybrid on a farm in the Czech Republic in 2020. She was named Baronka and not long after birth had health complications. Her owners didn't know if she was a sheep or a goat since neither goats nor sheep accepted her. Upon further inspection, it was discovered she was a sheep-goat hybrid. And number three, we have a lepum. Beautiful and unusual, lepums are produced only in captivity after the mating of a male panther and a female lion. The leader of the creature is like that of a lion 
while the remainder of the body has the similarities of the panther. Like I said earlier, these hybrids are produced in captivity and are very unlikely to occur naturally in the wild. The very first leopon to ever be documented was bred in India in 1910. Its skin was sent to Reginald Inns Pocock by Sir Walter Samuel Hillard, the secretary of the Bombay National History Society. It was the cross between a large leopard and a lioness. There were originally two cubs born, but one died aged just two and a half months. Leopards like to climb, just like leopards, and also enjoy swimming, just like leopards. Male leopards have sparse manes that can get to at least 20 centimeters long. At number two is the koi wolf. Koi wolf is an informal name for a canine hybrid. Koi wolf is an informal name for a canid hybrid descended from coyotes, eastern wolves, grey wolves and dogs. All members of the genus Canis are closely genetically related with 78 chromosomes and therefore can interbreed. One genetic study indicates that these two species genetically diverged relatively recently, around 55,000 to 117,000 years ago. Hybrids of any combination tend to be larger than coyotes but smaller than wolves and they show behaviours intermediate between coyotes and the other parent species. Compared with pure coyotes, eastern wolf coyote hybrids form more cooperative social groups and are generally less aggressive with each other while playing. Hybrids also reach sexual maturity when they are two years old, which is much later than occurs in pure coyotes. Number one on the list is a pumapard. A pumapard is a hybrid of a cougar and a leopard. Both male cougar with female leopard and male leopard with female cougar pairings have produced offspring. In general, these hybrids have exhibited a tendency to dwarfism. Those reported grew to only half the size of the parents. They have a long cougar-like body with short legs and the coat is variously described as sandy, tawny or greyish with brown, chestnut or faded rosettes. One is preserved in the Walter Rothschild Zoological Museum at Tring in England and clearly shows the tendency to dwarfism. A black and white photograph of this hybrid appeared in the 1917 Animals of the World with a caption that says, This is a photograph from life of a very rare hybrid. The animal's father was a puma its mother a leopard. It is now dead and may be seen stuffed at Mr Rothschild's museum at Tring. Well there you go guys, that's just 10 of the most unusual hybrid animals that really do or did exist. What a crazy world huh? Anyhow, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on so that you can get some more great content just like this. Until next time, take care, bye bye.